Matching hundreds. I'm Jonathan Coachman. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a weekend to go, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Arizona Cardinals. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They're halfway home, looking good at a perfect 8 0. And not much to complain about so far, is there? I'd have to say they're the best team in the NFL through the first half of the year. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point, but boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? On first down, Stafford here. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Yo, 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 yo. Yo! They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Time for us to introduce you to the defensive starters for Arizona. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. They've established themselves pretty well throughout this season. But boy, what a competitive group of people. They do not like that ranking they have now because they think that they're better and they're out to prove it again in this game. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. From the gun, here's Stafford. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Here comes the Lions punter now. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. Now, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes, 
I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. David Johnson on his way. He's at the 30, the 20. Touchdown, Cardinals. David Johnson. 77 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Now the try here for the extra point. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Stafford. It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing to Stafford. Throwing deep for Galladay. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So a line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 yards there and a line first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Check 
Now the former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. A gain of three, second down. From the 31, Stafford nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This offensive line has struggled. In fact, when we sat down with the coach, he said it's been in tatters lately. They allowed six sacks in their last game. Just gave up another one right there. In tatters, so it sounds a little bit like this right now. Exactly. It's like that paper being ripped. And right now, they've got to find a way to get it back together. After the sack, Stanford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. A shotgun snap for Stanford. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Now Giorgio Tavecchio for the field goal try. This from 54 yards away. And did he have enough? He did. He kept it on line and managed to tuck it into the bottom right corner. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah. And now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. And now let's look at David Johnson. Last week, a strong showing up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. Trey Flowers there on the tackle. And let's look now at the offensive starters for the Cardinals. If there's ever such a thing as a downside to a, such a nice drive, it's that we didn't get a chance to talk about them earlier. But I would have said, keep an eye on this offensive line and let's see how it performs. And so far, so great, because they've already gotten their running back into the end zone. From the 31, Murray, the pass complete to Hakeem Butler. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Murray now on first down. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Throwing now is Murray. Screenplay, Johnson. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Takes this to the 45, not much space there after the nice move. Four yards on the pick up there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they've played well against the pass, currently ranked seventh in the NFL. Take those rankings, throw them right out the window, <laughs> because this is what you prepare for, this is what you practice for, this is what you think about. The ultimate test, taking on the number one overall offense in the league. 
fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. And he finds his man. That's Butler. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. They'll run on first down. Johnson. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Murray. Wilson's got it complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. To throw, it's Murray. And that is... Caught. Touchdown Cardinals. Good job. Good job. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals push further out in front. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And spins away. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Back onto the field comes the offense. Let's take a closer look at Carrion Johnson. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense. But you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to make it third down and 10. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Now it's Stafford. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. On the return is Peterson. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. On the NFL scoreboard, an update from up in Seattle. And early on, the driver's seat belongs to the Seahawks. 
Russell Wilson. An early touchdown pass in that one. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Play action. Now it's Murray. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. You better be ready next time. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit, or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that. Give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. Well, that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Murray with a third and long. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be go. down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. After one, a 14-3 ball game. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. From his own goal line, Stafford. And Stafford's going to be taken down. That's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. And this will be taken at the 13. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. Second quarter, a guy like him, no catches, so that's the surprising part, but they're winning, so maybe they've been able to do some other things effectively, I guess. And they found other ways, haven't they? Because the receivers will tell you, offense needs to run through us, but they're managing to get it done in this ball game without having to actually do that. I wouldn't expect them to Blitz coming, and down he goes. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Murray now to throw. Finding room at the 30. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
On play action, it's Murray. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 36 yards on the play. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first down, Johnson. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker, and he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Looking to throw on second down. Stafford, and they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Open man is Galladay complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Operating from the gun, Stafford. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. The first down carry here for Johnson. Chandler Jones, a former All-Pro, in on the tackle. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Stafford. Jones has it. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Complete to Jones. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 38. Tavecchio puts this one through. And the lead is down to 10 now at 
No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, that'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can say he's looked pretty good to this point. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Johnson running right. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now Murray throwing on second down. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Catch number 44 of all the year. It's a first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Murray now, 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. Play fake, Murray. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now Murray off play action. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. He's got his man. It's Butler. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the ten. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing on first down is Murray. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Keyshawn Johnson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Now that touchdown won't allow you to totally relax, but you can breathe a little easier now. Just increased their lead. Now the try here for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. 
And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry. coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 43 is the mic. To throw is Stafford. And his throw here is incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Here's Stanford. It's caught. Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Stafford to Jones, and up for a line first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to cut into this lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. On for the extra point, Giorgio Tavecchio. It is true, the lead cut to 10, 23-13. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go! Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. Now he's looked pretty good. It does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of the season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. 23 yards, the final tally. Murray now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. That throw good for four. It's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To throw is Murray. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Murray now on first down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the 
field where you can make a play on the football. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing is Murray on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, all right, Brandon. Thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. We'll start up in the Pacific Northwest at CenturyLink Field in Seattle. And it's the Seahawks who are out in front in the second quarter. Keelan Cole, a touchdown reception. From there, let's head to the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, to check in on the Broncos. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Chiefs. Two touchdown passes there for Teddy Ballgame. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley to check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. 21-13, your final score. In the game you're watching, it was the former number one overall selection, Kyler Murray, who put on an absolute show. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. This one taken from the seven. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. They'll hand it off now. Johnson had a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 41-yard line. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stop just inside the 35-yard line. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. And down he goes. 
Jones. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Trey Flowers able to record his fifth sack of the season. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Shotgun now for Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Let's go! So make it two missed field goals for him now, but I have the sense, given that distance, you could probably forgive him here on this one. Yeah, this is out of the range of just about anybody on planet Earth, except probably you, partner. <laughs> but you just got to drive it out low and hope that somehow you hit it absolutely perfect. But no real chance for this one to go through. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, a run for Johnson. Oh, and they had him stopped short of the first, but a penalty marker down. And that looks like a clear face mask to me. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Johnson now gears up to help lead this offense back on the field. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give him a look. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in. But it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. 
Throwing now is Murray. Johnson's got it complete. Sheds another. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. But anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down, Murray. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And these cornerbacks had their hands full all afternoon long. But they finally get a measure of revenge as he gets himself in a nice spot. He's able to get two hands on the football and pick it off. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. But these guys are gonna chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. On second and 12, Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Stafford now to throw. It's complete to Jones. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. He's going to field this at the four. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Johnson. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Just like that. Just like that. They go to Johnson again. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first 
down. It's Johnson. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he finds his man. That's Butler. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. Murray now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a quarter to play. It's first and 10. On play action, it's Murray. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Murray now, a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Open man completes it to Butler. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Murray to air it out again. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Now Murray. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Keyshawn Johnson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast, game, the you know, second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. So that one along 11 play drive, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 25 on second down, Stafford caught by Jones. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 
Seven yards there and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. From the 35 on second down, Stafford throws right side, and that's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 43. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Stafford now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Here's Stafford. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Tavecchio good on the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now let's look at David Johnson. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Murray going to try to throw on third down. And able to find Kirk complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this would have probably get away from them. They go play action here on first down. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them.
Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stanford. It's complete to Laquan Treadwell. 15 yards for the Lions there and a first down. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Stafford. And the catch made by Johnson. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Throwing again to Stafford. Open man is Galladay, complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The offense on third down tonight, not quite 50%, four for nine. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. And James has it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Stafford going to come up first and 10, and he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Stafford going to come up first and 10, and he's hit on his last seven straight passes. That's to his running back, Carrion Johnson. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Carry on Johnson, his fourth touchdown on the year, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. To Vecchio to add the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And the touchdown run came from Carrion Johnson to cap things off. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. 
And they've got the lead here in this one as well, trying to make it nine in a row. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll keep it on the ground. Johnson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there at a first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's a 20th carry for Johnson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Murray now to throw. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. So Stafford and the Lions now down by a field goal. A minute 50 to play. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. Hey, lady. Stafford now to throw. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. After the sack, Stafford and the Lions come up on a third and long situation. They're going draw play. Stafford to Johnson. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They run. It's Johnson. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. So out now come the Cardinals. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll keep it on the ground. Johnson. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll go ahead and take the knee here, and the unbeaten season will continue. 
Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them, but they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. Well, Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit. They were able to hold on, withstand that comeback, and ultimately win it by the slim margin. And bottom line, when it's all said and done, they don't ask you how much you won by. They just want to know, did you win? And that they did. So for the cards, the train just keeps rolling 9 and 0 now to start this campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile for the Lions, they fall two games under 500 now at 3 and 5. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.